Hey guys, it's Renee. So I'm back. I haven't been posting for almost a month. It's because I moved. Hopefully this one is not really awkward because it's been a while, so I don't really remember how to do this. But let's give it a try. So for this, I'm going to be using this acetate sheet and a clear phone case. This is half of Amazon. And so I'm just going to be tracing the shape of my phone case on my acetate sheet with a pen. Kind of like placing it upside down if that makes sense and then i'm just gonna be cutting this with regular scissors and for the camera gap i'm using like some like detailed scissors i found my scissors at the like beauty section at the drugstore they are meant to trim eyebrows and like cut fake eyelashes all that and i'm using those because they are more delicate and it's easier to cut more delicate spaces like this one and these are the colors that i'm using i'm using acrylic paint by the way i don't really know if you get the same effect with like water color if that's what you have you know feel free to give that a try and these are the two brushes that i'm using and the one on the left i made it myself i do have a diy and the one on the right is one of those like thin ones but i just made it thinner and more delicate i do have the diy showing you how to make that now this is see-through so i'm just going to be working on the back of this painting or just dripping some paint that looks like rainbow as you're going to be able to tell i did this in a few different ways for my purple one i'm just kind of like smearing the paint dragging my paint almost leaning against the top of my phone case or my um, acetate sheet and then just moving this around up and down until the paint kind of falls so it looks like the paint is dripping now one thing that i noticed is that you need a lot of like paint to just make it heavy enough so it drips and it can get kind of bulky and remember this is going to be in between your phone and your acetate sheet so it's going to be like quite thick and you're kind of like have to pray that your paint lands in a cute way if that makes sense and so that was a no-go for me so i just grabbed my bigger brush and I just pretty much painted it where I wanted that to be and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for all of them kind of like hand painting the dripping effect just so it looked natural if you want the dripping to be more obvious cover it more with paint I wouldn't just make them all like the same try to make them all different different lengths different uh, thickness different like directions this like if it was actually dripping as opposed to if you painted this I also waited for each color to dry before I added the next one because I didn't want them to mix. And of course, as you go, check the front part and see if you're liking it. And if you're not, just arrange whatever you feel like it's missing. Now, I'm going to be cleaning the whole thing using some acetone and that I got in the dispenser. I do have the review for this one. I bought it a long time ago and I love it. Some cotton and I'm going to be cleaning the paint that I have all over the place because it can get kind of messy. We're working with colors all over the place and remember we're working on the back so when you place it facing the part that is going to be visible it's, it's going to look pretty cool when you start cleaning it but yeah this is ready pretty much i'm just going to be placing this on my phone case and this is what it looks like in the front guys overall i really like it i think it's really cool a few things that i would change is just add more difference in between the length of them because i feel like the dripping it looks like too samey in my opinion for instance, in the yellow, I think it would have looked so much better if it was shorter. For instance, in the yellow, I looked so much better if it was shorter. I would just make my green a bit more yellowish tone, a bit brighter, because I feel like it's too foresty for this. But overall, I really like it. It's real hard for me to show you in the actual phone because I'm using that to record this. But hopefully, you can get an idea of what it looks like on your phone. And again, because I was moving, I couldn't um, function in the beginning, uh, so I couldn't have this uh, for the beginning of June when it, I was planning on doing this but this is just to say I really delayed happy pride if you celebrate it I hope you have an amazing time if you don't that's okay just skip to the next one and let's keep this friendly in here because I know there's a lot of like controversy around uh, especially with children I'm not gonna say much about that I'm just gonna say I support consenting adults doing what they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody and just letting the kids be kids but you know just teaching children to be caring loving and accepting for other people but yeah that's all i want to say about that i really hope you like this i'm gonna have another summary coming soon so stay tuned for that if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more phone cases that i have share it and subscribe for more thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye